and then having to see that you're giving this attention to somebody else that we've just met in this like experience did make it cut just that much more deep. The Ultimatum is Netflix's new show. It showcases multiple couples who have different opinions on wanting to get married. One partner is ready to pop the question, the other not so much. The contestants then get partnered up with other potential matches to see if their love is true or not, and at the end of the show, they decide whether or not they want to break up or get married. Of course, this premise is the absolute breeding ground for drama, and plenty of drama there is. One such contestant, April Marie, ended up breaking it off with her partner, Jake Cunningham, and they both moved on without marrying one another. And now, April has debuted her new bow on social media, and the two are showing some serious PDA. Today, we're covering April Marie from the new show, The Ultimatum. Tomorrow, though, you decide. Let us know in the comments down below who you think we should cover on the next episode of Where Are They Now? While you're there, it would be a huge help if you could like this video so we know to keep making more just like it in the future. April Marie entered into the ultimatum with her boyfriend, Jake Cunningham. Jake was hesitant towards the idea of marriage while April wanted to take the plunge. So they both got paired off with different people. Jake went with a woman named Ray and April went with a man named Colby. Jake and Ray hit it off instantly, and I mean instantly. They were making out with one another by the third episode. April, by the way, is only 23 years old, so a lot of people criticize her for being so intense about getting hitched so early on in her life, but in a later interview with Variety, April elaborated on this need to settle so young. Quote, I was hounding him to get married. I've always just been infatuated with being a mom and being a wife and having this family that I can look after and protect and care for. So I just started thinking with Jake, what is this relationship here for? What are we here for? I don't wanna waste my time. Let's get married, let's do it now, let's do it today. Due to Jake also being very young, he was understandably extremely hesitant about getting married. So when he entered the house and had an instant connection with Ray, him and April were pretty much doomed. At one point in the series, Jake even admitted that if he had to make the decision right then and there, he would go with Ray, not April. That being said, he and April did end up trying to stick it out and reunited. Then a bombshell dropped that they had had unprotected intimacy with one another, which led April to believe that she may have been pregnant. Apparently, she had tried to get pregnant for several years and had plenty of failed attempts. But the one on the ultimatum ended up also being just a scare and she is in fact not pregnant. Thank God, I mean, can you imagine with how we know how this turns out? Anyways, when it came to the final episode, Jake decided to call it quits with April. Quote, I tried to push every little bit of me to get to that point. I'm just not ready for it myself. I'm sorry I couldn't get there. I never expected this to happen. I love you and I do wish you the best. I mean, honestly, I don't want either person to come out as bad because I genuinely totally understand where Jake is coming from. I mean, 23 is insanely young to get married. I absolutely, I absolutely would not want to get married anytime soon. And the idea of it is just so foreign and scary. April is the one who seems to be the outlier by wanting it so young with our current culture. So Jake's decision makes sense to me. On the other hand, however, April is certainly entitled to want what she wants for her own life and no one should ever stop her for being authentic. So finding someone who is also interested in marriage and kids and the whole shebang really young would be much more in her interest than remaining with someone who doesn't. Throughout the entire season, while Jake and Ray got on like a house on fire, April's pairing with Colby was only really surface level. It's not that they didn't get along, but it was definitely much more in a friendship way than in any romantic sense. So April was pretty much flying solo the entire season before Jake tried to give it another go with her, which as we know, ultimately failed. Anyways, so Jake decides to move on from April. But what about Ray? Well, after he rejected April, he and Ray walked off screen hand in hand, and that's how it was left on the deciding episode. After the season finished, there was a reunion episode to catch up with the contestants. What we find out from this episode is that Jake and Ray aren't even together anymore either. In fact, after the season stopped airing, they revealed that they had both decided to quote, take time to heal, after they both broke it off with their respective partners. They decided to heal individually, so Jake is, as of now, a single man. 
April, on the other hand, well, she absolutely is not. Obviously, it didn't work out with Colby, who ended up marrying his partner Madeline, despite Colby being extremely attracted to Lauren, and April has totally moved on. In fact, April has a new boyfriend now, who seems much more set on settling down in a relationship than Jake ever was. April posted a sweet video to her Instagram only a couple days ago, showcasing a montage of her and her new boyfriend, Cody. She captioned it with the quote, one day you're gonna meet someone and they're gonna make you realize that there was never anything wrong with you. She then followed the quote saying, quote, see, thank you babe for being that someone. Thank you for being you. Thank you for being the most amazing boy, man, boyfriend, partner, and best friend I could ever ask for. I love you, I respect you, I adore you for a million things. First and foremost, for committing to me and everything that came with dating me, because I know it wasn't easy. Even when I said no, thanks for not letting me go. You're strong, you're passionate, you're, per you're persistent. That's why I fell in love with you from the start because I see so much of myself and who I want to become in you. So thank you for all the times you've been in my corner, for picking me back up when I'm down, for always being so affectionate and respectful, for always telling me how it is and for always being so gentle in the way that you communicate with me, for pushing me and helping me to grow, for your daily assurance and for loving me so unconditionally for every laugh and memory made, like breaking my foot on our second date. I promise to reciprocate being the person for you that you have always been for me. Thank you for walking into my life and showing me what love is. That's adorable and good for them, even though I just read a freaking novel. Anyways, my favorite comment in the post was, quote, never let your boyfriend stop you from meeting your husband, which is hilarious and iconic. Honestly, the couple seemed kind of low stakes as far as couples go. I know that April had her heart set on marriage, but at the end of the day, Jake just couldn't be that for her. Neither of them are the bad guy here, they just have misaligned needs and that happens with even the tightest of couples. It's just whether or not you're able to, to accommodate those needs or not. Tons of people said that she upgraded in the comments of her post debuting Cody, and honestly I think that's kind of trashy. Jake isn't a bad dude, he just isn't ready to settle down yet, and there's nothing wrong with that. He's happily single and he's not worth any less just because it didn't work out with April or Ray. People change and need time to heal and that's just how it is. But maybe I'm also just taking reality television way too seriously and need to chill. That's definitely a possibility too. Justice for Jake. Either way, I wish them both luck and do not be surprised if we see a wedding, maybe even this year, for April and her new boyfriend. I mean, they seem insanely serious for such a new relationship. So what do you think about the show, The Ultimatum? Did you watch it? Who is your favorite couple? Let us know in the comments down below. Please subscribe to this channel so we can keep you updated when we post our next video. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Where Are They Now? I've been your host, Sierra. See you guys next time. He's happily single and he's not worth any less because it didn't work out with April or Ray. Yeah, <laughs> no worries.